It is a beautiful 80 degrees up on Mount Magazine on this fine Sunday. Um, me and Patrick decided to have a little, I don't know, would this be like a day date, Sunday date after church today? So we drove up to our favorite, favorite place, Mount Magazine. And we thought we had everything on a whim and we realized we didn't have cold drinks. We brought stuff for coffee. We brought some mountain house meals we're gonna review in this video and maybe some kisses on the cliff. <laughs> Those people got our spot. You see all of them? They beat us here. That's where we usually go. And then we walk down the trail and we go look off the cliffs down there, but not today. Well, <clears throat> It's getting a little dark. We went on an adventure. We did. We saw some cool stuff. We did. And then we also saw some people setting up a marriage proposal. We eavesdropped for quite a while. We wanted to be nosy and stay, but... We didn't. We got things to do. <laughs> How about it, babe? We went to Walmart to find something to boil water in. We ended up getting a little tea kettle. I've been kind of eyeballing something I've seen there before. Um, I have a version of it already. I've had videos on it. And it's this little butane burner. But the reason I wanted it was because of this right here. So what this does is as an adapter. So this is the normal butane. But with this, if you can't find these, you can use the green propane tank. So this is the adapter. So it's, you know, for an extra $4 from what I paid, this was $14. You get a stand, you get the burner, and you get the adapter to do butane or propane. Then you get a handy little carry kit. So I'm gonna open it up and we'll see how it works. So we got the stand. In order to get the stand on there, you have to fold that in because it's tight. So you put it in the outside rims and then lock it into place. So, which these things are pretty steady by themselves. So here's that handy dandy adapter. This part will go into the green propane tank and then this will screw to the bottom of this. Then you have your multiple choices. Always screw it down so you hear that. You That's smell it. it. You hear it and smell it. Mm -hmm. so make sure that gas is turned off. And then the legs will come out around and fold out. And your pot will just sit right on top. In order to light it, you'll take your valve, slowly twist it. And we're good to go. That's cool. That looks cool. Jet power. We are disturbing our neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Another little toy that I have is something I've I've seen this on uh, the Outdoor Gear Review. Luke had it. It's a little alcohol stove. I keep it because we play with it at the house with my grandson. <laughs> we'll fill it full of alcohol and let him, you know, sit on the couch and have a little flame just for a little bit. So all it does is just rub an alcohol, the container. It's got a stand that you can put it in. Just like that. Then you can put your container on top of it. And, oh, no. and to be honest, that collar is just cool, is mm -hmm. it not? I mean, and it has multiple ways to set. You can set it that way. There's like multiple cars coming. Then you can set it. Yeah. So we'll fill it up and light it. A little oh. romantic alcohol fire. I know, with all these people, like we come out here to be alone. <laughs> It's a holiday weekend though, so. Yeah, I forgot. Cause it's not a holiday that we actually recognize at work, so it doesn't register. Yeah. I smell it. I can kind of see it. There it is, right there. And this will actually burn quite a long time. Isn't that cool? And then you have the, the snuffer. And then go on. To put it out, you just put that on there. Just like that. And there you go. 
and there's my little set. Got my little handy dandy bag, and it's on lighter. Mm -hmm. So we got this buffalo chicken mac and cheese. We ordered these on Amazon. I know our local Walmarts and academies have them, but they all have the same thing. So, mm -hmm. and then this same. fettuccine Alfredo with chicken. These are our choices for tonight. Sometimes it's easier to Amazon than driving 30 to 40 minutes yeah. one way to go to a store. Just to get. Yep. Yeah. It does have max and many. It doesn't tell you how many ounces. ounces. But we are making coffee, so we're putting a lot in there. But I'm sad because you bought that new outdoor cook set, well, and it was at the cabin. We'll just have to use it next weekend at the cabin. And we didn't have time to go get it, so we had to stop at the Walmarts and get mm -hmm. this. It was like eight ninety seven, I think is what you paid for it. Yeah. But this is cute, and we'll use this for sure. Yes, and that's the thing. Everything is multi-purpose. Yes. I'm going to crank on the power. Crank it. <sighs> yeah. And it should take about two minutes to boil. Why are we not doing a campfire? Because usually we do campfires. We are under a burn ban, so there's no campfires. This is the next best thing. Mm -hmm. We can still come out here, enjoy nature, have us some dinner, and there's no mess to clean up. No oh, mess. It smells, it smells, it smells. This is what the fettuccine Alfredo looks like. Okay, and it's strong odor. Got buffalo mac and cheese. Does it have a fill line? I can't remember, it's been a long time since we've done this. How much water do you put in it? About that much. coffee in between times <laughs> we did open them stir them and then reseal them sorry he's already got a peek and that is what the the beef mac looks like is it beef mm. mac cheese no, buffalo buffalo yeah looks so you've seen the before now you see the after uh. we won't show you the other after <sighs> Okay. Oh, oh please, yeah, please no. I'm almost terrified. Well, you're licking the spoon. The flavor is what's important, I think. It's, it's definitely got the buffalo flavor. Would you eat it again? Would you pick it? Would this be in your top three? Probably not. Okay. It's got a little too much spice, and if you're on a long trail. Um, yeah. Now, if you're at camp, there's one thing, but if you're out hiking and you're going to camp overnight, I wouldn't I wouldn't take this one. Just because it might be a little, a little rough on your stomach. One more look. Buffalo style. Chicken mac and cheese. It looks good on that. That's the picture. Oh, I'm scared. Your turn. I like mac and cheese. I just don't know about the buffalo because, you know, I can't do. That one's not done. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I put enough water in it. What was that? It's not done. <laughs> that was spicy. Okay. Oh, that, that is not the Mountain House Mills' fault. That is our fault for not adding enough water. Yep. Because, like Goobers, we did not bring our other pot that actually has the measurements on it. That like, one doesn't. Like, we don't know what we're doing. And we honestly do. This because was it just... takes a cup and a quarter, or a third. This was just a, hey, let's go to the mountain. And I think we only got about a cup in, so. Mm -hmm. So let's try yours. Okay. Um, this is, this is going to be good. I know this one's going to be good. I hope so. Cause I really like that a genie Alfredo chicken. This but. one's going to be good. Did you not? 
stir yours up? Yeah, I stirred mine up after you stirred yours up. Okay, let's try it. Please don't be crunchy. I'm a little nervous. It smells good. The whole world is waiting. <laughs> this flavor's not bad. It needs more water. We didn't put enough water in it. Not enough water. I'm gonna try it. Oh yeah, I can tell there's not enough water in it just by the noodles look dry. Yeah. Take this one. I this one, I would get this again. Mm-hmm. That breakfast skillet that one has they make is good. That, that fried good rice that they make is really good. And this one's really good. Did you get a crunchy one? Can we still add water? Can you add water after? Yeah, you e could if we had water. Oh, yeah, we used it all in our coffees and our apple ciders. The, uh, I'm going to pass on this one. Okay, we'll just eat off this one. Because the chicken is still crunchy, like hard, mm -hmm. dehydrated. Yeah, it is. We'll just share a meal, babe. It's fine. Go ahead, baby. I'll eat with her dad. You don't want to eat with me? I was going to share my dinner with you because it's supposed to be a romantic dinner. <laughs> Is that not what this right, was? Give me a <laughs> I, I like, I drop buffalo mm -hmm. sauce all over my pants. Yeah. But we ate on the way up here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had a sandwich on the way, so I we're said, not dying of thirst or hunger. What if we don't like them? Because that's happened before. That Thai one we had, was that the one we didn't like? The curry. Was, the curry. We liked the curry. We liked the curry. What was the one we didn't like? I think it was that Thai chicken. If that would have had more water in it, mm -hmm. the correct amount of water, mm -hmm. I think it would have been really good. Yep. This one's really good. Mm -hmm. This one would be one that, mm -hmm. if I had to choose, I would choose this for a dinner. That's one that's easy on your stomach. Because again, that's one thing that people have with freeze dried meals is they're a little hard on your stomach. I don't think this one's gonna be. Nope. I do wanna get, <clears throat> There's another brand of freeze-dried meals, and I want to get it and compare it to Mountain House, but I want to get the same type. And we want to do a like a blind taste test where you take take and make them and then put them in a bowl and then blindfold someone and see if they can tell which one is which. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think Crystal should be the guinea pig. No, I said you because you're picking them. I'll make them and, you, and feed them to you. Okay. And oh, then wow. you can say. And I can say whether they're bad or not. Right. Now, I think we agreed tonight. One though. thing that we did do well on is the apple cider vinegar is very good. So is my coffee with Duncan. Yeah. It's very hot though. Yeah. I wish you guys, I wish the camera would pick up the color of the trees right now. I'll try to show you guys the trees. I'm going to show you guys something really amazing. It's right over here. It's a tree. Mm -hmm.